What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I want to say I'm excited but we're talking about something Konami did at the most recent ban list and that is bring back Jet Synchron. Now why this is a problem we're going to get into that when we start the video but if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. So as I was saying Jet Synchron is kind of a problem and the reason for that is it enables one card combos that end on scythe locking your opponent as well as a baron negate it's crazy now i'm going to be showing you guys some of these combos and different ways you guys can do these combos and different decks you guys can do these combos in which is crazy because it's not limited to a single deck it's limited to a single card that can be done in a lot of different decks and i don't want to keep you guys waiting for much longer so let's get into the video okay so for today's video i want to talk about a card that recently came off the ban list but i also want to talk about a card that didn't go on the ban list and that is Artifact Scythe. Now, a lot of people probably were expecting it, me as well. I was really expecting this card to get banned because I don't think these kind of floodgate cards are really healthy for the game. However, a lot of people also like to argue that Scythe wasn't winning YCSs and regionals and big events. So for that reason, it didn't get banned. But the Jet Synchron came back to one in the most recent ban list. And what Jet Synchron does for you is it lets one card combos and on scythe locking your opponent so they're locked out of their extra deck but also a baron and a lot of decks can do this it's not just a single deck and to be honest with you these engines are so small they can be put into other decks so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how rescue cat is a one card combo which means you can do this technically in tri brigade how scrap raptor is a one card combo which means that you can also do this in dino and how union hanger is a one card combo which means you guys can do this in abc but because the engine is so small with the scrap raptor with the rescue cat even with the union hanger what you can do is you can play them as an engine in different decks so i'll give you guys a quick example just before we hop into the video here and one example is for a scrap raptor now the scrap raptor engine that can do this entire combo really only needs four cards three scrap raptor as well as a scrap chimera and that's of course not including the jet synchron and the scythe but you really only need four cards scrap raptor also has searchers like fossil dig in the deck so if you want to count those in that's a total of seven cards okay so that's a seven card engine what if you played eldritch with it what if you played a trap stun deck with it there's so many different decks that you can play these engines in because they're such small engines. So I just wanted to talk about that because Konami bringing Jet Synchron back made this combo abusable in so many decks and in so many ways. And I only think it's going to be so long before this combo gets abused, starts topping and winning YCS's regional events because it's really just one card combos that end on boards with a scythe lock and a Baron. So without further ado, I know I took you guys' time for a little bit, but I just wanted to explain the reason and the premise behind this video. And with that, let's get into the one card combos. All right, so for this first combo, all you need is a Union Hanger. It's literally that simple. This one card combo is just too crazy. We're gonna activate our Union Hanger and we're gonna search our Torque Toon Gear. Torque Toon Gear is a tuner. That's literally all you need. It's so crazy that Union Hanger itself just gets you this entire combo. You're going to activate your Union Hanger here to equip your Union Driver. And the nice thing about this combo you'll see is you'll get a little bit of advantage actually when you do this. So here what you're going to do is you're going to equip your B. You're going to be able to summon your B. Now keep in mind this is a one card combo, but if you have like another piece in your hand, if you can summon the C and then you can get the C effect to special summon. So there's a lot of different ways to do this, but here we're just going to get the B for the most advantage. Then you're going to link two into Halky Firebrand because of course like i said torque two is a tuner and it's so dumb and the really nice thing about this combo as well on top of it getting you some advantage is you can technically chain block the hulk so that it can't get hit with something like an ash so you're gonna go your b is your chain link two to search a piece whatever piece you're missing here we're just gonna search a and then hulk is gonna get to summon jet synchron so here you guys can see like you're not only getting cards to your hand with your b because this is also just a one card combo so you'll have four other cards in your hand at this point but also b is gonna set you up for the discard fodder you need for jet synchron which could potentially lead you to summoning your abc buster dragon right so this combo is just insane here you're gonna go link karibo with your jet synchron you're gonna pitch the card you searched here to special summon your jet synchron back and then you're just gonna make your dagda like this is how simple the combo is it's literally a one card combo now of course you have four other cards in your hand so like i said if you have another piece you can use, summon the c c to summon the other piece and you'll actually also end on an abc buster dragon here but this is just the simplest combo union hanger you're gonna go into your end phase as soon as your opponent does anything in their main phase, okay, so here we're just going to click enter battle phase just for the thing to trigger. But yeah, as soon as they do anything in their main phase, you're going to go Hockey Fibrax, and then you're going to activate your Dagda because it gets to trigger and effect was activated on the field. So you're going to be able to set the Scythe. Then Halk is going to be able to summon your TG Wonder Magician. TG Wonder Magician is going to be able to pop your Scythe, which means that you're going to get Scythe back. And now you've successfully Scythe locked your opponent. And on top of that, you can dodge any hand trap with the TG Wonder Magician because 
you get to use the TG and the scythe to make a Baron. So one Union Hanger ends on a scythe lock plus a negate for you Plus you already have two of the three pieces you need to make a buster in your graveyard. But of course, if you have a third piece, you can keep going from there. But that's that's a one card combo. Okay, so just before we get into this combo here, I just want to show you guys that all you need is one Scrap Raptor plus any discard and you're going to need a Chimera in your deck. But the really cool thing about this one specifically is that you have three Fossil Dig and three Scrapyard to potentially search your Raptor. So if you wanted to, I wouldn't recommend necessarily playing all nine of these, like three Raptor, three Fossil Dig and three Scrapyard, unless you're playing Dino, of course, because in Dino it works out. But if you're not playing Dino, this is really strong because you essentially always have six copies of Raptor in your deck. So that's why it's really, really powerful. And I'm going to show you guys how strong this combo is. So here for the Scrap Raptor combo, it's essentially going to be the exact same thing as the Union Hanger one. However, the only difference is that you're going to need an extra card in your hand to discard. So you're going to use the Scrap Raptor effect when you normal summon it to pop itself and you're gonna get to search a scrap chimera now you get an extra normal summon for a scrap monster so for that reason you're gonna get to normal summon your scrap chimera you're gonna get your scrap raptor back to your side of the field and scrap raptor is a tuner so from here on out it's the exact same combo all you gotta do is you make your hulk with these two then your hulk is gonna get to summon your jet synchron over here and then here's exactly the same combo right now the only difference with this combo and the union hanger combo is that b gets to search you a card to your hand so it's a one card combo with this one it's kind of like a 1.5 card combo because you need any other card in your hand just to discard but keep in mind if you're going first you're gonna have four more cards in your hand at this point so it doesn't really matter what you have in your hand it's always gonna be live you're gonna make these two again into your deck the same exact combo you're gonna pass your turn of course if you have more things to do you have more things to do but at this point we're just gonna be showing you guys the most basic bread and butter combo as soon as your opponent goes into their main phase you're gonna activate the Halka Fibrax effect and then you're gonna get to chain your Dagda effect. And I wanna just mention this for anyone who doesn't know, Dagda gets to activate any time an effect on the field is activated. So if you guys do this first turn combo and activate something as simple as like an upstart goblin to draw a card, an effect on the field was activated, so you are gonna get Dagda on your turn. I just wanna show you guys that if you have nothing else to do and you just do this combo, you just have to wait until your opponent's turn to do this. And then your TG is gonna get to pop your Scythe, like I said earlier, and then your Scythe is gonna come back, and then your TG is gonna get the chain so that you can make a baron like it's that simple just with scrap raptor and any card in hand is a scythe lock on your opponent locked out of their extra deck as well as a baron negate now for this hand all you're gonna need is a rescue cat so union hanger was a one card combo the scrap raptor was a 1.5 card combo because it was scrap raptor and any card to discard you guys are gonna see rescue cat itself is just a one card combo because it's gonna get you that extra card that you need so here what you're gonna do is you're gonna normal summon your rescue cat you're gonna activate your rescue cat effect to summon your kit as well as your fabled Sir Burrell. Okay, I don't know how to say this name, but this could be any level two tuner beast monster. So in this case, I'm just using the Sir Burrell because it's the first one that came to mind. But if there are any level two beast tuners, you can use those as well. So it doesn't have to necessarily be this one, but I'm just using this one for the sake of the video because it's a tuner level two beast that you can summon off Rescue Cat. And then here's the exact same combo. You're gonna go Hulk chain link one, and you're gonna get to go Kit chain link two. And this is what I mean by that you're gonna get the extra card in your hand because your kit is gonna be able to send your Nerval, your Jet Synchron is gonna be special summoned, and then your Nerval is going to get to activate to add a Fractal to your hand. It could also technically add a Keras to your hand. Doesn't really matter which one you add. But at this point, all you got to do is link into your Link Karibo. Then you're going to use your Jet Synchron to pitch your Fractal. And then if you have more cards in hand, like I said, you could search your Keras. You can use the Keras effect, special summon the Keras, banish cards from your graveyard, keep going with tri plays, right? So you don't have to just do this combo. You can keep going with your tri plays. Every single time I do this, I'm just showing you guys the most basic way to do the combo. Of course, if you open more extenders, more ways to play, do that. Don't just stop at this combo. You guys can continue playing, but I just want to show you guys the most basic. And here's the combo again. Literally third time, all you got to do, and when your opponent goes into their main phase, you're going to use your Hulk. You're going to use your Dagda. And then, of course, you have to wait because they have main phase priority. You have to wait for them to activate something to do this to begin with. So don't just, as soon as they enter main phase, go Hulk effect, right? Because they do have priority on their turn. However, you're still going to have this combo no matter what the situation is, really, because they can activate anything and you can just go full combo like this, right? So here you're going to get to summon your Scythe back. Scythe is going to lock out your opponent. You're going to get the TG1 to Magician. Now, I think I said this earlier, but just in case I didn't, if they have an Imperm to negate the Scythe or try to negate the TG, or they have Chalice to negate the Scythe or negate the TG, you have ways to dodge cards like Imperm, 
and um and chalice because you get to use the tg wonder magician as a quick effect to summon your baron so now you swipe lock them and you summon your baron again this is so crazy this just goes to show and this whole video is trying to show you guys that there's so many different ways to get this combo off and you can do it in so many different decks it doesn't just have to be tri brigade it doesn't just have to be dino it doesn't just have to be abc i just want to show you guys that this combo is just so accessible by so many decks i don't know why the tcg brought back jet synchron it's so crazy so that is it for today's video like guys these combos are crazy and i'm sure there's a lot more one card combos that i didn't even mention in today's video that can do this exact same thing as long as you can put two monsters on the board and one of them's a tuner you are good so that's why i think jet synchron coming back is a little bit crazy we're gonna see where these combos go we're gonna see where these end boards go but i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content thank you guys all for watching if you guys have any other of those one card combos let me know in the comment section down below because that's how we get better and grow together as a community i appreciate every single one of you and with that spanko signing out peace